this lecture we are going to learn about typecasting and what are the different ways in which we can do typecasting in typescript basically typecasting allows you to explicitly tell the compiler to treat a variable as a different type let's try to understand it with an example so in order to understand typescript what we will do is let's go to index.html and after this div let me go ahead and let me add an input element and here let's say type equals text okay let's save the changes so here you can see we have an input element let me put it inside a div and let's add some css on that okay now what i want is i want to access this input element from our typescript code for that i'm going to use this tag name here because in this web page we have only one input element so i can access this input element using its tag name for that here let's say document dot query selector and there let's pass the tag name which is input let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable and let's also call it as input maybe all right now if i hover over this input you will see that typescript has correctly inferred the type of this input variable so it is html input element right this expression here it is going to return us an html input element and that will be assigned to this input variable so here you can see the type is properly inferred but let me go to index.html and there on this input element let me add an id and let me simply call it as f name okay and now i'm going to access this input element using its id and since we are using id here i also need to use pound sign and let me also name this variable as f name i'm just changing the variable name here because we have named this input element as first name so that's why i'm also calling the variable as f name now let's save the changes and now if i hover over this f name you will see that typescript is inferring its type as element or null it is not correctly inferring the type of this variable as html input element and because of this let's say on this f name i want to access value property first of all you will see that we have two errors the first error is because as you can see this f name can have a null value also okay so if its value is null in that case this complete expression will return an error and that's why we have this compiler error here so here what we will do is we will tell typescript that we know that this f name it is present in our html document so it is never going to return null for that i'm going to use an explanation here so that error is gone but now on this f name when we are trying to access the value property we are getting an error and this error is because not all the html elements has value property we know that input element will have value property but not all the html elements will have value property and the type of this f name is element it is not telling us which type of html element this f name is storing and because of this we are not able to access this value property here so here what we need to do is we need to tell typescript compiler what type of value this expression is going to return we as a developer know that this expression here it is going to return us an html input element so here we can tell typescript that we know that this expression here will return us an html input element so for that we need to typecast this value currently it is returning us a value of type element but we can typecast it to html input element okay now there are two ways to typecast a value in typescript the first way is by using angle brackets so in that case what we do is before the value which we want to typecast we use opening and closing angle brackets and in those angle brackets we specify the type to which we want to typecast that value here i want to typecast this value to html input element and as soon as i typecasted it you see that error is gone okay so i can go ahead and i can use this value property on this f name variable now and if i hover over this f name variable you will see that now its type is html input element so here we have typecasted its value let's go ahead and let's assign some value to this value property maybe john 
okay and here we have an error and this error is at line number 127 let's see if we have any code which we have not commented we have this oh all right here we need to save this html document also and now that error is gone okay and you can see that the text box is populated with the value john so this is one way of typecasting the value the other way so let me copy this line and let me also comment it okay the other way is basically using as keyword so what do we want we want to convert this value which this expression is going to return to html input element for that here we can say as html input element so in this way also we can typecast a value by using this as keyword and then specifying the type to which we want to typecast a value and this should also work now this as keyword for typecasting you will use in cases where you cannot use angle brackets so for example if you are using typescript with react there we write some jsx code so in that jsx code when you will try to use these angle brackets for typecasting there jsx will try to infer this as a jsx element it will not think of it as typecasting it will think of it as jsx element and because of that your react application might break so in such cases you can use this as keyword for typecasting all right now as a developer you need to be very cautious and you need to make sure that whatever the expression which you are typecasting must return that type of value otherwise you might get runtime errors okay and also if you as a developer is sure that the expression is not going to return a null value then you can use this exclamation before the expression but you know that in some cases this expression might return a null value in that case you might need to use if else condition okay so here what you need to do is if you know that this expression might return a null value you need to remove this exclamation okay because here we are telling that this expression might return a null value and in this case we can also not typecast the value here because we know that this expression will return a value of either html input element or it can also return null so we cannot typecast null value to html input elements so we cannot do typecasting here so let me remove this typecasting statement from here as well and now what we are going to do is we are going to check if f name is a truthy value that means if it does not contain any falsy value any null value in that case only we will try to typecast this f name to html input element and for typecasting again before this dot we are going to use as html input element okay and we will wrap this complete expression within parenthesis so first we are converting this f name to an html input element and on that we are trying to access the value property okay so this is how you need to do when you know that this expression might return null value sometimes all right so in this lecture we learned the two ways in which we can typecast a value this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day